I don't know about you, but software subscriptions are getting pretty pricey and they're all adding up. So in today's video, I wanted to go through a free option if you were looking for a screen recorder that records your face and your screen at the same time. So this option is free if you already pay for a Google Workspace account or if you're part of a paid Google Workspace account. At the time of this recording, I don't think that this is available for free Gmail or Google users, but by the time you're watching this, that might not be true. So definitely still check out the video, click the links below, and let's get into it. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new around here, I'm Mariah from MariahMagazine.com, and on this channel, I help break things down like SEO, website, tech, and I dive into tools and recommendations to help you grow your online business in a way that works for you. So in today's video, we're going to be diving into Google vids. I'm going to be bringing you behind the scenes and showing you how to use it, what it's good for, what I'm noticing, and all of that fun stuff. So let's kick it into the screen share. Okay, let's explore Google vids together here. So basically, Google vids is a really good way for you to be able to record your screen, record an audio recording, and or record your screen and your face at the same time. So this is really great if you need to send a video to somebody on your team or to a client, or it's really good for like creating videos for content creation. So like if you have a course or a digital product, you might even be able to use it to create YouTube videos too, okay? So there's tons of use cases for this. And it's funny because they're really pushing like AI powered video creation with Google vids, but I haven't dove too much into that. I literally just want to use it like as a screen recorder, especially since, like I mentioned in the intro, a lot of these softwares, like their monthly prices and subscriptions are increasing. And when you run an online business like me, all of this stuff tends to add up pretty quickly. So if you already pay for Google Workspace, like Google for business, essentially you get access to Google vids for free. If you're not sure if you do, I will leave the link to this specific page in the video description box below you can go ahead and try to sign in and then it will allow you to choose your email. If you don't get access to Google vids, it's going to send you to a page that looks like this. Okay. So this is basically just like letting you know that you probably don't have access to it. But if you want to make sure you can go ahead and click select plans and then just see if the plan that you have falls under these categories. Okay. So if you want to go ahead and start trying this and you're already logged into your Google profile where you already have access to Google workspace, very important. Once you're logged in, let's say you just want to create a video. So there's a ton of different ways to like get to this. So you can literally just go to Google if you want and then click the little app, like Google apps up here in the right hand corner, scroll, and then you should be able to see vids right here. So you can click on it and it will take you to this screen here. The other option is that you can go to your Google Drive, click new in the left hand corner and then click Google vids from that screen. So that's an, another option. Or you can go right in your search bar and actually just type in vids.new, click enter on your keyboard and it's going to bring you to the exact same screen. So as you can see, they are really trying to push like you using Gemini with this. To be honest, I don't really want to. If you want to, you can go ahead and play around. I literally just want to record some stuff. So we're going to hit record here and then you can go ahead and click record now. So this might get a little weird because now you're seeing me in different screens here, but essentially up at the top, you can see that you can just record camera. You can record record camera and screen, and then you'll be able to choose a specific tab, a window, or your entire desktop screen, or you can just choose to share your screen. So not also include like your face here, or you can choose just to record audio. For this one, we're just gonna go ahead and click camera and screen, and then I'm going to go ahead and choose an option. So once you choose what you wanna go ahead and record, you're gonna see this little pop-out box, and you'll notice you have up to 10 minutes. So using Google vids at the time of this recording, you can only record videos up to 10 minutes. And so what you would do when you want to record is click this start recording box right there. It's gonna count you down, and and then it's going to record everything that you're doing on this screen. So we're just gonna go ahead and grab 
a little clip here so that you can see what's happening. Okay, so let's pretend like that was an incredible video that I just created and I feel really good about it. So we're gonna go ahead and click pause recording or stop recording there. And then what you're gonna wanna do is go back to the initial tab that you open to create the video. And so you can hover over it and you can see like that little record button and it says this tab is sharing your screen. So go ahead and click on that. And then I'm gonna move this out of screen so we can really focus on what's happening here. So this is going to be a preview of what's happening. So you can go ahead and you can restart the recording. So if you are watching this and you're like, oh my gosh, this is literally awful, I hate it. Or if you messed up or you just wanna do it over, you can click the restart right here. Do not click that button unless you literally want this video to be wiped out, okay? And then if you wanna preview, it, you can click preview. And then when you feel good about the video, you're going to want to click insert. If you don't click insert, your video will not be saved. Very, very important. So once you're taken to the screen, you can see the screen is here that you recorded and then your face is here. So you can move this around the screen depending on where you would like it. You can make it bigger. You can make it smaller. You can do whatever you want and kind of play around with this. If you wanted to record your video in like little separate chunks and you want to add a section after this, you can click this plus button right here. It's going to create a new scene for you. And so then we can come up here into insert and then click recording. This will allow you to record something else. So again, you can choose Choose a different tab, the same tab, whatever you'd like. The cute little recording box will pop up here. And then you can record another clip that you want to be tied on to the end and it will add it. So I'm not going to do that. I'm actually going to delete this scene right here. So we'll just click delete, but you can go ahead and play it to make sure that everything feels good for you. And then I will say, very, very important, come up here and name your video because by default, it calls it untitled video. And if you don't get in the habit of naming your videos, you will forever have a ridiculous list of untitled videos. So after you record, make sure that you're renaming it and then they automatically save in your drive. If you want to move it to a specific folder, you can click this move icon right up here and then you can choose which folder you want to go ahead and input this video into. You can create a new folder. You can do whatever you have to do there. And then I will say when it comes to editing, Google Vids does not have like advanced editing capabilities at this time. It's pretty, it's pretty basic. So you can trim your video. They have that option there. You can duplicate things. You can split the screen, but that's really about it. If there's going to be any added editing features after this video, you should be able to find them in like the Google Vids help articles and all of that. But essentially right now it feels pretty basic. But I will say the cool aspect about this is that this video, you can share it just like you would a Google Doc. So if you come up here and click this share button in the top right hand corner, which it's making me name it and click save if you haven't named it already. And then you can choose the sharing access that you want to give. So you can share it with anybody. You can type in a specific email address for whoever you'd like to share it with. You can customize the general access on if you want to only allow them to view it, comment or edit it, kind of same functionality that would happen in a regular Google Doc. And then if you wanted to export this video to go ahead and like upload it somewhere else, maybe YouTube, maybe your course creation platform, somewhere else, you can click file up here and then click download as MP4 and that will allow you to download the raw video file. And then let's say that you wanted to go ahead and get access to all of the videos that you've created with Google Vids. I'm not a fan of that name. It's very redundant. Google Vids videos, that's a tongue twister. Okay, you head over to your Google Drive. You can click in the right-hand corner, your Google app, scroll down until you see Vids, and then it will kind of open your library of all of your Vids videos all in one spot. So this is how you can access previous recordings and all of that. So hopefully this quick overview is really helpful in terms of bringing you behind the scenes so that you can see 
what Google Vids is good for, maybe not so good for, and then you can make a decision on if you'd like to use it or not. So that's it for today's tutorial. If you guys found this video helpful, give me a really quick thumbs up. The simple thumbs up does go a long way in letting the YouTube algorithm know that my video is helpful and therefore hopefully pushing it out to more people that also might find it helpful. And if you want to see the full list of software and apps and tools that I use to run my business, you can go ahead and click the link in the video description box below. No need to give me your email or anything like that. I basically just created like a running list of the software that I use because I'm always having people ask me what I prefer for certain things. So I left the link to that in the video description box. And if you're not already subscribed to the channel, what are you doing? Hit that subscribe button, turn on bell notifications, and I will see you in the next video.